everybody and welcome back to the channel. In today's video we're going to be solely taking a look at the cinematic MCU figures from the all new Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness Rintra Builder Figure Wave. In my opinion one of the best waves we've seen for quite some time especially after that rather lacklustre Spider-Man No Way Home wave and I've got to say for the most part every single one of these is pretty damn awesome. Now before we get into the review you can see I've set up this rather awesome diorama. Personally this is just how I think it's going to play out in the upcoming movie. We've got Rintra there in the centre just I'm not entirely sure whether or not he's going to be a foe or friend and of course we've got Defender Strange, Master Mordo as well as Wanda slash Scarlet Witch here on the left and we've got the Doctor Strange as we all know and love as well as America Chavez and of course Wong. Really really cool looking figures I've already got a review up over on the channel of Defender Strange. Personally I just think he's going to be a variant version of Doctor Strange perhaps the Defender of the Multiverse so we'll hopefully no doubt actually go up against our version of Doctor Strange and of course Wanda for quite some time has been rumoured to be the main villain of this particular movie and judging from how Doctor Strange did leave things with Mordo in the previous Doctor Strange movie once again I definitely think that he's more than likely going to be a foe rather than a friend but I'd love to hear your thoughts down in the comment section below in today's review we will be solely taking a look at the all new multiverse of madness Doctor Strange, Wong, America Chavez as well as of course the Rintral figure and lastly we'll be rounding things off with Master Mordo so without further ado let's kick start this review by taking a look at the all new Doctor Strange and straight up this is an excellent figure as far as MCU Doctor Strange releases go I think this is probably the best one we've seen yet but before we delve into this all new multiverse of madness Doctor Strange I first of all want to take a very quick look at the astral form as of course this figure also is a part of the Rintral Builder figure wave so you can see in regards to skull work this is the exact same release that we saw as part of the No Way Home wave just as of course this time completely cast out of transparent plastic and actually not looking too bad at all I think this is a marked improvement when in comparison to the previous release which I believe was released in 2016 you can see in regards to the sculpt work despite the 3d printing technology not being nowhere near as utilized as on a standard figure i still think the likeness is very very nicely done so the sculpt work definitely does hold up even here with this transparent release you can see in regards to the sculpt work overall looking pretty nice we've got a transparent blue used here for the torso with some more clear pieces used for the forearms as well as here for the cloak robe and belt and you can see there the sling ring too has also been painted really nicely as so as the actual eye of Okamoto. and then as we just spin our attention down to the lower section overall not looking too bad at all i won't in fact go through articulation just as it's the exact same as the previous release and one thing which i actually noticed upon getting this guy is that the joints are nowhere near as visible as some of their previous clear figures which i think is really nicely done now in regards to accessories he merely only includes three so the first of all is this golden teapot personally i can't recall really ever seeing this in the movie it's been quite some time since i did watch that so please let me know down in the comment section below the relevance to this but you can see completely cast out of gold plastics so it definitely looks the part the scott work looks really nice and then finally we do get once again the same pair of hands that we saw released on the original figure these are open palms so you can see they're pretty nice sculpt work but personally i more than likely won't ever be using them on this figure and then of course we bring in our all new multiverse of madness release and i've got to be honest and say for the most part this figure is wicked really really nicely done although only really has one major downfall when in comparison to its predecessors and it could just be a thing that i'm picking up but sadly the cloak of levitation doesn't in fact actually have a port allowing you to peg it into the back meaning that basically when you want to articulate the ab crunch or the shoulders it is such a pain in the behind to in fact actually get it stuck on it always more than likely wants to continuously fall off and even if you do get it resting on the shoulders in pretty much any dynamic pose it does look really out of place if they had just reverted back to basics and you could have port this here into the back in my opinion it would have looked so so much better but that really is the only nitpick that I personally have found on this release the cloak of levitation appears to be a complete brand new sculpt so you can see the actual interior looks really really nicely done as we spin our attention here to the exterior once again the pattern detailing looks very faithful to what we've seen from some of the trailers and you can see here at the top we do in fact actually get some golden paint used here for these clips or braces of which are meant to of course grasp around the actual shoulders and then as we take a closer look here at this figure as far as I'm aware it's a complete brand new sculpt from head to toe you can see that likeness to Benedict Cumberbatch is probably the best we've ever ever seen I really really do think he looks excellent in particular here from this angle you can see the hair sculpt looks wicked as so does the grey fading there for the sideburns and of course the slight quiff that he has and then as we take a look here towards the torso for whatever reason for this particular incarnation the eye of Agamotto is in fact actually sculpted into the collar section so it's no longer on a chain which personally I don't really like the look of this so I imagine it's probably accurate to the film but I really do just prefer the actual eye of Agamotto to be a separate sculpt you can see the sculpt work doesn't look too bad but it really does just look slightly out of place just sort of being embedded there in the center but other than that I think the costume looks really nicely done you can see the paint and sculpt work looks excellent even as we spin our attention here to the back 
back, you can see all of the skull work there. And of course here with, through the actual belt, you've got the sling ring, which surprisingly isn't in fact actually sculpted onto any of the fingers, which is slightly surprising. It appears to be the same across pretty much any of the Doctor Strange figures, even including Wong. So I really have no idea as to why they don't just sculpt a tiny sling ring here onto the index finger. But other than that, you can see the sculpt work for the arm looks great, especially here for these actual forearm bandages. And then as we take a closer look here towards the belt, the sculpt looks awesome. And the same can also be said here for the lower section. Now, in regards to articulation, the head and neck, I believe, is on a ball joint, so it allows for a fantastic range. Looking up, of course, it can look down to a terrific degree, tilt side to side, rotate left to right, full rotation here at the shoulder, as well as a hinge joint out to the side. Sadly, no butterfly joints, which really, considering this is a new sculpt, I would have loved to have seen. But nevertheless, we get a full rotation here at the bicep, double joints here at the elbow, as well as a full wrist rotation. And the hands can indeed hinge back and forwards. Considering that the torso is brand new, we finally get an ab crunch, which allows for a tremendous degree going forward, as well as backwards, of course, you can rotate left to right. As we come here to the legs, just due to the nature of the design, they are slightly compromised due to this rope section, so they can kick forwards that far. This one here is pretty restricted, but it still has a pretty decent range. Sadly, the split out to the sides isn't the best. We do get a rotation of the thigh, as well as a double joint here at the knee. And then finally here for the foot, of course, you can rock these side to side, as well as hinge them forwards and backwards and forward to quite a pretty decent degree I may add so overall definitely a very very nicely done figure now in regards to accessories in addition to the cloak of levitation we also do get a pair of magic effect hands these appear to be the same as the version that we saw from the No Way Home release you can see the Scott work on that looks really really nicely done of course cast out that translucent orange plastic and then as we just flip here to the back you can see the hands already pre-sculpted and then we also do get included a second pair of hands so once again another magic gesture hand which looks really nicely done you can also see some vague markings there of the scars which is a really nice attention to detail and then we also do get a fisted hand and just bringing these ones in here for a closer look these appear to be a complete brand new sculpt you can see really nicely done in regards to the position of these definitely matches from what we see in some of the movies that Doctor Strange has appeared in and in regards to a very very quick comparison if I just put the cloak back on. Here we have our all new Multiverse of Madness Doctor Strange compared to the version that we saw from No Way Home. So definitely a vast improvement in terms of the sculpt in particular. For the cloak I think it looks awesome but just in regards to how it actually fits on the figure I definitely do think this version does it slightly better but overall in regards to which is the better figure I definitely think the Multiverse of Madness has a lot more pros than cons when in comparison to the predecessor. Next up we have what will undoubtedly be the highlight out of the entire wave for many collectors just as it took Hasbro so damn long to actually make him but we finally have Wong and much like Doctor Strange this guy's turned out great definitely worth the wait in my opinion as we bring him in here for a closer look I really do think this is probably one of their best head sculpts yet this really really does look incredible perfectly matches the likeness to the character as seen in the previous movies you can see the 3D printing technology there looks so so nicely done if anything I do just find the proportions overall to be slightly off he definitely does appear a lot skinnier when in comparison to what we've seen from the film maybe he's a little more slender in the upcoming Doctor Strange 2 movie but from some of his previous appearances and most notably would be in Spider-Man No Way Home I do just think he should be ever so slightly bigger but you can see there for the actual torso region I think the sculpt as well as paintwork looks really nicely done in particular would be this collar piece you can see we've got some white orange as well as purple and as we spin our attention here to the back this too has also been completely sculpted as well as painted and then as we turn our attention down to the lower section the robe too has also been really really nicely recreated you can see some very vibrant yellow there as well as purple and gray and the legs too are a complete brand new sculpt now in regards to articulation surprisingly despite him having this whole robe he's actually really really poseable so here at the head we get a double ball peg at both the head as well as the neck allowing that there to look all the way up as well as all the way down it can tilt side to side as well as look left to right much like Doctor Strange no butterfly joints sadly but the shoulders can rotate the full 360 of course hinge joint out to the sides full hinge joint there at the bicep double joint there at the elbow the wrists can rotate the full 360 as well as hinge back and forth and let's just bring that forearm guard in there for a closer look you can see really really nice gauntlet detailing I think that too looks wicked here for the torso despite it not being an ab crunch per se he does have a pretty decent ball joint going on so this can crunch forwards that far back to that far side to side and of course rotate left to right and once again despite him having this whole robe going on the legs too can also kick forwards that far which is pretty nice and the same can also be said here for this side he sadly can't do the splits to a great degree but in all honesty he hasn't 
really prevented me from getting him into many dynamic poses. We also do get a thigh cut there at the top. Sadly, only single joint here at the actual knee, but it does allow for a rotation as well as a pretty decent range there going back. And then finally for the foot, this can pivot here forwards and backwards really really nicely done as well as of course rock side to side in regards to accessories we do get one of the magic effects much like we saw with dr strange you can see they're painted really nicely i believe this to be a complete brand new hand sculpt which is really nice attention to detail we also do get one of those magic conjuring gestured hands which i think looks really nice you can see the skull work definitely is pretty cool we also do get a second magic effect slightly smaller when in comparison here to the one that i've already pre-installed and then we also do get a pair of interchangeable hands so once again another spell casting hand still no sling ring there which is a slight shame we also do get a gripping hand just as he also includes a sword now i don't believe up until this point we've ever actually seen wong actually wield a handheld weapon so that will definitely make for a really cool sequence in the movie you can see the scott work on there looks really nice got some white paint there for the handle silver for the blade as well as gold for this section and it can be very easily inserted onto the figure so we just simply pop this gripping hand on take the sword and just sheath that in there and there you've got Wong with the sword I'll be sure to post some images at the beginning of this review actually showcasing him wielding this in some slightly more dynamic poses but overall definitely a really really awesome figure and definitely a welcome addition to the MCU collection then we turn to one of the more mysterious characters out of this wave that being an all new entry for the MCU of course America Chavez now personally I'm not all that familiar with the character's backstory in the comics I know she has something to do with the multiverse whether that be opening certain pathways into different universes I guess we'll just have to wait and see but I do know that she is in fact a significant part of the plot so really really interested to see as to what this character's got in store for us in regards to a figure maybe it's just down to the simple fact that I don't know a lot about the character but this was definitely not one that I had that much hype about but she's definitely a pretty nice figure you can see in regards to the sculpt work definitely looks pretty accurate to the likeness of the actress from what we've seen from the trailers you can see the hair sculpt looks really nice the actual jacket here has got some really nice paintwork I love how they've managed to in fact actually give you that impression that some of this here has faded off that looks really cool even as we spin our attention here to the star detail you can see all of the various different cracks which I think is a really really nice attention to detail you can see some of the red detailing there of course we've got this rainbow striping here on the back the stars going on here for the actual sleeves and then as we take a look at the front we've got the necklace some nice sculpt work going on here for this torso region as well as for the belt and she too from what I can gather is a complete brand new sculpt so as we take a look here at the legs complete pinless tech going on here for the knees and I really like the detailing there of the socks as well as of course the trainers so she's definitely a pretty cool figure it really is that weathering effect that I love about this release I think that's really nice done how they've managed to in fact actually give us that crack detailing in regards to articulation she does in fact actually have a ball joint here at the head which can look left to right slightly restricted looking up as well as of course down full rotation here at the shoulder hinge joint out to the side no bicep rotation although the elbow can rotate the full 360 only a single joint here which is slightly unfortunate we do get a full rotation at the wrist as well as a hinge joint back and forth a slight cut here at the torso but in all honesty you're not really going to get much other than rotating left to right so that once again is slightly unfortunate the legs can kick forwards that far back to that far out to the sides rotation at the thigh as well as double joint here at the knee and then finally for the foot this can pivot forwards and backwards as well as of course rock side to side to a pretty decent range in regards to accessories we really only get the bare minimum that being an alternate pair of interchangeable hands you can see these here are slightly more expressive and we of course do get the fists already pre-applied to the figure so if she wasn't a part of the builder figure wave in all honesty i probably would have skipped her just as once again i'm not that familiar about the character and of course just in terms of an actual design she is definitely a slightly more generic looking character but i guess we'll just have to wait and see as to what role she has to play in in the upcoming movie and making his return to the mcu we once again have mordo this time in his master mordo look is this the same mordo that we saw towards the end of the 2016 doctor strange movie or is this a variant i guess we'll just have to wait and see personally i'm more inclined to think this is perhaps a variant just as he looks incredibly different you can see that in regards to the actual attire he's sporting it looks super cool definitely a vast improvement when in comparison to his look in the first doctor strange movie you can see the sling ring there on the belt i think the face sculpt whilst not 100 perfect is definitely an improvement over the original version you can see the sculpt work looks pretty decent we've got what appear to be some scars here going on for the forehead the beard looks great as so does the hair sculpt i think that there looks wicked and overall the paintwork to the actual cloak looks really really nicely done and then as we just spin our attention down to the lower section it does appear as if though they're using an older sculpt considering we've got these pins visible but other than that the boots appear to be completely brand new and we do surprisingly actually get a boot cut which we don't really tend to see that much on marvel legends figures in regards to articulation master more 
Gordo does have a ball joint here at the head, slightly limited due to the hair design, so it can merely just sort of look up and down that far. Of course, tilt side to side, rotate left to right. We do get a full rotation here at the shoulders, once again, slightly compromised due to the nature of the design, but they can hinge out to the sides. Rotation here at the actual elbow which is pretty decent sadly no double joints here but i still think that's a pretty decent range we do get a full rotation here at the wrist hinge joint back and forth the torso articulation is near enough basically not really there in regards to a crunch going forwards and backwards it's minimal it really doesn't help for posing him we can see we get a slight tilt going left to right but it really is just designed here for this waist rotation the legs can kick forwards that far albeit are slightly compromised due to the row but can kick out that far rotation there at the thigh as well as a double joint here here at the knee as mentioned previously we do get a boot cut and of course the foot can rock side to side as well as pivot forwards and backwards now, he actually comes with quite an array of accessories so first of all we get this crossbow this has been sculpted really really nicely you can see the texture detail on that looks fantastic really really nice looking crossbow there of course you've got the actual string section which would be pulled back and actually locked into this piece which looks really cool we also do get two pairs of interchangeable hands so you can see we get some gripping hands as well as some more exaggerated open palm hands and then finally we do get this almost baton weapon so you can see the sculpt work much like the actual crossbow is really nicely done we've got a more darker brown coat here for the handle with a lighter shade there in the center and if you were to swap out some of the hands he could hold both of these together so whilst not a figure of which i think is the highlight out of the wave it's definitely a nice inclusion and at least in my opinion is a little more interesting than whatever's going on with america chavez and so wrapping this review up with what is undoubtedly the most unusual looking character out of the entire wave we've of course got the Builder figure himself, Rintra. Now, much like America Chavez, sadly, I don't really know a heck of a lot in regards to this character's backstory. Is he friend or foe? I'm more inclined to think perhaps friend, just due to some of the design traits that are going on here, but we'll discuss that in just a second. You can see that in regards to an overall design, he's supposed to be an almost green minotaur, and I definitely think they've done a great job in, of course, capturing that. As we bring him in here for a closer look, you can see the face sculpt looks really nicely done. The green fur looks really, really awesome. Sadly for mine, the eyes are going off to the sides, not sure whether or not that was intentional but the sculpt work there for the teeth as well as the nose looks pretty decent for whatever reason they've tried to in fact actually create this almost weathered effect to the horns to me at least it really does just look as if though the paint has worn off so i would have much preferred them either to completely paint them or just leave them in the cast gray plastic but here for the actual ear you can see we do in fact actually get a few piercings which once again leads me to believe that perhaps he's not as formidable as he first appears and then you can see here for the actual outfit very bland and generic there's no paint on this at all it has merely just been cast out of this almost maroon plastic but you can see still some pretty nice detailing for the forearms once again that green fur which i think looks great some bandages around the actual wrists i have indeed opted to go for the fisted hands and then as we just spin our attention down to the lower section of course considering he's supposed to be a minotaur he's got a very unusual looking leg design which i don't think looks too bad you can see the hoofs there which have been sculpted really nicely and we do in fact actually get the tail now he is indeed pretty articulated but due to the nature of the design he can definitely be a pain in the behind to in fact actually pose so here for the head it can look up and down of course rotate left to right and also tilt side to side slightly we do get a full rotation here on ratchet joints at the shoulder a hinge joint out to the sides rotation here at the elbow as well as sadly only a single joint here which is a slight shame but due to the nature of the design i can kind of understand that we do get a full rotation here at the wrist hinge joint back and forth as well as a ball joint here for the torso so this allows him to crunch forward pretty much barely any range out of that which is a slight shame but he can crunch backwards pretty decently of course rock side to side as well as rotate left to right here at the actual hips these can hinge forwards that far albeit are very restricted due to the pvc material being a lot stiffer when in comparison to say the likes of wong he can in fact actually kick back that far out to the sides rotation here at the thigh and due to the nature of the design we do get an almost knee joint here which can bend forwards and backwards a rotation joint here just below where the knee is and then finally for the foot this can pivot forward backwards as well as kind of rock side to side but once again due to the unusual nature it's going to be definitely a little difficult to truly find that sweet spot when posing him and in regards to accessories we merely do just get an interchangeable pair of hands those being slightly more open palmed when in comparison to the fists and very quickly here for a size comparison we've got Rintra compared next to Doctor Strange as well as Wong so you can see while it's definitely slightly bigger I wouldn't say it's the biggest builder figure we've ever seen I do think that it's certainly on the slightly shorter side and maybe they could have found the way 
to have in fact actually single packed this guy and perhaps he'd given us a bigger builder figure such as that weird strange looking octopus squid thing that we've seen in the most recent trailer. Personally I think that would have made for a better bath but definitely let me know down in the comment section below on what you guys think. And so some final thoughts for this Marvel Legends Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness wave. As far as the cinematic figures go I think for the most part they're all pretty decent however if I had to pick two highlights it would undoubtedly be of course the Doctor Strange as well as Wong in particular Wong. It's taken Hasbro so long to give us a figure of that guy and for the most part I really think they've delivered despite a few proportion issues which may or may not in fact actually be issues I think he looks really nicely done. The face sculpt is undoubtedly at least in my opinion one of the best they've ever created and despite the design of the actual costume he is in fact pretty well articulated and not to mention actually comes with quite a few accessories. In regards to some of the other figures personally I have no attachment to Rintra nor America Chavez. I imagine they look pretty accurate to how they would appear in the upcoming movie but in regards to the design I definitely think America Chavez is slightly too basic for me and the Rintra whilst is a nice builder figure I personally think could have in fact actually seen a single carded release in order to make way for that weird alien squid thing that we've seen of course in the most recent trailer. Master Mordo is definitely a really cool figure in my opinion a vast update when in comparison to the 2016 counterpart but just in regards to comparison amongst Wong and Doctor Strange I do think he just falls slightly short mainly in regards to articulation and the astral strange whilst is nice I just don't think it's once again a figure that's going to appeal to everybody I really hope that you guys enjoyed this review I'd love to hear your thoughts down in the comment section below do you guys agree with some of my thoughts or do you in fact disagree and as always I thank you all so much for watching until my next review I'll see you then thanks for watching